Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be solving linear um, equations, systems of linear equations by using the determinants. Okay? And uh, we have to remember these two things when it comes to solving determinants. First one, your x would be d sub x over d and your y would be d sub y over d. And now you will be looking for these three terms. Sir, what is d sub x and what is d sub y and what is d? So, the very first thing that when it comes to determinants uh, that you need to solve would be the d, the value of the d. And the d can be solved by just simply um, using this method. And this is the method that I would suggest to you guys. Because when it comes to determinants, the first thing that you do is just simply take all the numerical coefficients. Okay, So, in this case, you will have, I will write it like this. I will write it like this. You will have your bracket 6 and 4. 7 and negative 2 and I will have this partition here 4 and 18 so this would be your equal sign your partition for the constants okay and remember these are your x's and these are your y's okay these are your x's and these are your y's and for you to solve for the d I will just write it here dito sa gilid na lang for you to solve for the d cover your uh, say this is your constants okay cover your constants meaning do not look at them cover them Okay, and what you need to do is you need to get the cross product of your x and y. So this would be 6 times negative 2 and 4 times 7. So you will have 6 times negative 2 and you will have 4 times 7. And what's the next thing you need to do? You need to get the difference of them. Okay? Again, it's very important to know yung, ano, yung order. Ito dapat yung nauna. Yung unang diagonal to the diagonal to your right okay pababa to your right so we will have 6 times negative 2 the answer is negative 12 minus 4 times 7 4 times 7 the answer is 28 okay negative uh, 28 yan. and what you need to do is you need to subtract them negative 12 minus 28 the answer would be negative 40 and that would be your D you're done madali yes the next thing you need to do is you need to find for, I uh, solve for, um, let me just erase this one because I kind of don't like it here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me erase this one. Alright, the next thing that you need to do is you need to solve for your um, y's. Okay, you need to solve for your y's. Or d sub y. d sub y muna unahin natin. Okay, d sub y. And d sub y can be solved by just simply, let's have a partition here. And let's box this one. Or maybe let's list it down here on the side. Yeah. Negative 40. Oh, write it down properly. Negative 40. And this sub y can be solved by simply covering your y. Takpan niyo si y. So, ito. Na matitira. Would be 6, 7, 4, and 18. The same goes. What do you need to do? You just simply need to cross multiply. Paunta dito. And then, papunta dito. And then, you need to subtract them. So, you will have 6 times 18, okay, minus 4 times 7. And multiplying them and subtracting them will give us 6 times 18, a little bit big, so I use my calculator. 108 minus 4 times 7 is 28. It will give me 80. Okay, so your d sub y is equal to 80. And the next thing you will need is your d sub x. So, we will write down our d sub y here is equal to 80. And our d sub x is just simply cover x. Takpan niya x. Anong natira? 4, negative 2, and 4, and 18. So, what would happen here is I will take this one and I will write it here. So, what would happen again? Uh, I'll just erase this one. I will erase this one and I will replace it by 4 and 18. So, this would be 4 and 18. And I will do the same thing. And this is special for x only. Ah. X lang po ang nililipat natin. Okay? So, what would happen here is, again, I will cross multiply. 4 times negative 2. So, it would give me 4 times negative 2 minus 4 times 18. So, what would I get? I would have 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And 4 times 18 it will give me 72 minus 72. It will give me negative 80. So our d sub x is equal to negative 80. 
And the last thing that we need to do is, of course, do this one. Okay? Lagi niya siyang ipapartner. To get x, you partner it with your dx, you partner it with d. And that would simply be negative 80 divided by negative 40. And your x is just simply positive 2. Okay? And now for the y, we will take a hold of that. And now for the y, d sub y over d. And again, d sub y is simply 80 divided by negative 40. y is equals to negative 2. Okay? And now you have your values for x and y. For me, determinants are somewhat easier because you are just simply dealing with, ano, you're dealing with um, numbers only and no variables anymore. Okay? So now let's uh, try. Um, you have you know that your solution is 2 and negative 2. I, uh, am I correct? Yeah, 2 and negative 2. And let's try it on our given solution. Uh, on our given system. I think this is sobra. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it on our given system. So you will have 6 times 2 plus 4 times negative 2 is equal to 4. And evaluating this one, 6 times 2... Um, plus 4 times negative 2, it will definitely give me 4. This is 4 by calculator po. Correct. And next, we have 7 times 2, our x, minus 2, our y is negative 2, is equal to 18. This is 14, right? This is positive 4. Adding them together, 18 is equal to 18. Correct. Okay, therefore, our determinant works. Gumagana siya. Okay? And that is our main aim lang naman talaga, to make it work. Okay? Next one, uh, we have this one, this given. Uh, I think we exceeded, so let me just erase this one. Okay? So, yeah. So, the next thing that, that I would want is um, to write it down using our, uh, the, the method that we are using. Okay? I will write it down in a sense na ganyan. This is 1, and this is negative 3. This is 3 and negative 15. And I will have, of course, um, 5 and 10. I need to solve for D. Litan lang natin na, I need to solve for D. And I need to solve for D, X and Y and constant. I will only take this one muna. Okay? Cross multiply po natin. We will get um, 1 times negative 15 minus, again, negative 3 times 3. Okay? Yan. And having this one will give us negative 15 um, minus negative 9. And negative 15... Let me use my calculator just to be sure. Negative 15 minus um, negative 9. It will give me negative 6. It will give me negative 6. So now we go to d sub x. So let's list it down. d is equal to negative 6. And d sub x would just simply be... Um, again, you will close x. Takpan natin si x. So we'll cover x. Yeah. And then, what we do we need to do? Kapag si x yung hinahanap mo, remember, if you're looking for d sub x, you will remove x, and you will replace it by 5 and 10. Or, you can just simply, ano, um, you can just simply reverse yung ating order. Okay? Instead of doing it like this, minus this one, we reverse it. Okay? So, unahin natin would be 5 times negative 15. Ito naman, una natin. And then, we will have minus negative 3 times 10. And having this one will be 5 times negative 15. So this would be negative 75 minus negative 30. And this will give us negative 75 minus um, negative 30. This will give us 45. Uh, negative 45. Okay? So, let me check kung tama yung ginawa natin. Yes. Okay. And then, negative 30. Okay. Sige. Good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to solve for our d sub x pala is negative 45. Okay. And our d sub y is just simply what? d sub y is just simply... Okay. So, I'm sorry. Medyo nag-revert back. So, again, we will just have y. Okay. Our y is just simply cover y. And we will have... Uh, 1 times 10 uh, minus, uh, this is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5 times 3, 5 times 3, okay? So, this would give us um, 10 minus 15, and this would give us negative 
5 and this is our d sub y okay d sub y is equal to negative 5 and what do we need to do now it's the same the same lang po which is what x is just equal to dx over d and remember our dx is negative 45 and our d is negative 6 okay so this would give us 15 over 12 if you will try to simplify this one okay because this is divisible by 3 and this is divisible by 3 Okay, and they are both negative, so we will have this as x. And our y would be, ito, uh, let's save this one. Our y is dy over d. And this would be simply, um, take dy, which is negative 5, and our d is negative 6. And it will give us positive 5 over 6. And you have to be careful. Why? Because remember that it's dy over d. And there are cases that you might confuse it like, you will use dx instead of d okay it's just simply the dx over the d or the determinant na sinasabi natin okay so yeah so we will take a hold of this one okay and we will try to check whether is our given solution as um 15 over 2 and 5 over 6 is the solution exact solution to our given system okay so let's do the checking now i'm sorry may onting nag appear dito sa gilid let me just erase this one some excess from our previous example okay so last one would be checking and our checking would involve of course our given okay so let me just list down our values for x here so may gilid oh, sorry this is eraser let's use let's use the yellow marker okay so we have 15 over 2 and we have i think it's 5 over 6 yeah. and solving for that so we will solve here on the side this would be 15 over 2 minus 3 times 5 over 6 equals to 5. So, let's use the calculator na lang para mabilis lang. Um, 5 over 2, uh, this would be um, like 2. And this is um, 15 minus 5 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, this is correct. Use your calculator, this is correct. Okay? And next one, we have 3 times 15 over 2 uh, minus 15 times 5 over 6 is equal to 10 daw yan. And using your calculator for this one, uh, we will not stress anymore on this. The answer would be 10 is equal to 10. Calcu yan, calcu based, okay? And I have I have tried that, okay? Just now, just now, okay? So that would be the same, correct for both equation, therefore our system stands. If our system stands, therefore our a solution which is of course at all let's encircle this one our solution of 15 over 2 and 5 over 6 is correct and this is for our determinants for me this is confusing but this is the ano, um this is one of the most interesting way of solving um your ano, um systems of linear inequalities by using the determinants and there are actually a lot of videos online showing how easy to do this one okay and in any case in lang um, determinants will use numerical coefficients very easy very fast but it would be a little bit confusing because of our solution but if you get to master this one uh, you can do mental um, solving for the systems okay using this method okay so that would be all if you would have any other questions can refer to the video and if you would have um, any other questions you can ask me in our class okay so that would be all thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh